Hello and welcome back to another episode of Darkwood. Uh, it's actually only been one evening, but I already don't remember. What are we doing? Yes, we're at the Dromp. Dromp has escaped, so be it. He would only be a hindrance anyway. Yep. We need to investigate the tree. Also, alternatively, the junkyard. But we also need to think about setting up for the evening, which involves wood that I don't have. An exploration that I haven't yet done. All these destroyed wardrobes. Such a shame. How am I doing an inventory? I am carrying stuff I don't really need to be carrying. I remember... Uh, well, I don't know how it's changed. But I remember that I could expect to do reasonably well in here. Do I have a weapons... reliable weapons locker? The current question. Oh, I can make fences here. Can you do that outside of chapter 2? Uh... Is this stuff not like lantern light? No, it doesn't. Not at all. Look at it go. I can only discover the individual words shell, thick goo, light. Okay. Well, a job well done. Find out what's in here, because I don't really remember. Okay, more gas and vaguely useful things. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this gas. Well, yeah, no. I was about to say maybe I should save some of some of it up for the uh, the wood chipper thing. What's it called? Let me go look at look at what it's called. Saw. I was gonna kind of save some up for that, but I'm thinking that might be, you know, more than is warranted. As far as I can tell, I do not really have. Okay, the bell doesn't do anything, so I might as well not keep that in my inventory at all. It's just a waste of effort. Does this thing still work? You're gonna become the weapons cabinet slash holder of useless items. I wonder I can sell it. I guess I'll sell it to the trader or whoever comes in the morning, assuming it's the trader. Or does someone else start visiting? Does the three come back? Alright. I never got an axe, now that I realize that I can't make one. But I also never found one. That might be worth investing in, maybe. Not totally sure. But in any case, I do need wood. How mushrooms? Oh, that is a well hidden bear trap. Looks about right. I do desperately need wood. Well, you just warm. God, they like to flank, huh? Jeez! Alright, hold on. This is serious business. I am lucky to be alive. My 
god. I forgot about these things. How horrible they are. I'm gonna go cash that in immediately before I regret it. <sighs> Where's the stove? It's the easiest way to get to the stove. Also, how will I block this off? How will I become safe? Is that... we're almost there. Can't move that thing. Should probably build that fence. Almost out of ammo, because I forgot to bring extra ammo. Good lord. Human spider. Ah. Just came out of this pile, right? Pile of bodies. Poisonous mushrooms. than it has to be. Oh, hey, guy! Is it the doctor? Hi! You again. What do you want from me? Want to put me in front of a firing squad for desertion? The doctor snorts ironically, hiding his irritation. I honestly wasn't super expecting. You look worse. What's going on with your head? But, yeah. Well, okay. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close. I can hear her. Just as if you're standing beside me. My little... With shaking hands, he reaches for the cigarette butt between his yellow teeth. I'm sure someone is waiting for you, too. He spits out the rest of the tobacco. Why are you showing this to me? You better tell me how to get there. <laughs> okay. I used to come here to treat people. I pulled out kids with milk teeth, delivered babies, and then came the diseases I've never even heard of. I was the only doctor in the area. You cut us off from the outside world. I did. First you, then the woods. No help from anyone. Last time I came here was three or four years ago. Then the trees blocked the path. The doctor looks around the area. It's different now. The fields are flooded. Everyone in the village is dead. So much work for nothing. I've realized something. It came to me when we were walking through the tunnels. You were like a disease, you and your kind. The doctor takes a step back as if he was afraid of me. At the same time, a sinister smile appears on his face. You don't belong to this land. You weren't here when the forest was born. You're a splinter in the foreign body of Vagabond. And then, the forest and everything else here? These are the antibodies. Even the morons from the village. Raging white blood cells in an infected bloodstream. That's the reason you hide from us. The doctor is visibly pleased with himself and his theory. His hands are no longer trembling. He produces a hand-rolled cigarette and lights it. Logical, isn't it? Some of the flooded areas hide underwater passages. Recently, I fell into this underwater den in the northeastern edge of the swamp. I have no idea where it leads. I'm a shitty diver. I've seen a similar one on the northern edge of the swamp, so I... Northeastern and northern. Oh. Huh. I can get one of these. He doesn't want shit, though. He'll give me this for setting him free, I guess. He is gonna come back to kill me, isn't he? I think that's an inflated cost for those. These, that's a pretty low cost for that. And for that. For now, I shall leave you. In case I need you again. The figure of the shrine bears the signs of teeth. It's partially eaten. Well, I guess 
people got hungry. Well, I expected you to exit when I clicked. What's the bag about? Is that your bag? What are you doing? I will take this map. I okay. Fabric that I don't need. Holes. Holes! What is this? Old general. From the abandoned journal in the swamp hideout. I've managed to mark the village with the tree on the map thanks to it. Spare parts for the compressor. The old general also included information about the cottage located near the junker. I'll be able to find some spare compressor parts there. Okay. Holes! I found a map with weird little holes on it. It may be worth checking out. M. Holes. Hmm. Alright, I mean, I'll give it a try. Yeah. I heard you out there. Now oh, it's got the black shit on it, too. I hide. goes inside now. Okay. Ah, fuck. I should have expected that that would happen sooner or later. What about around here? metal door. to get late anyway. So let's go back. 
back before we get lost again. Like right now, for example, where I don't think we can actually go anywhere in here right now. We need that key. We need time to prepare. Are you, uh, are you gonna be okay? I hope that I don't regret not taking things from him. What is that? Very well. Well, we have some. We have some uh, recourse. Ooh, are we gonna get another fever dream finally? Accuracy decrease. I definitely don't want that. This gonna be oh this one yeah I haven't done this one yet have I why is this red mm. okay well maybe I'll do a better job this time I've definitely fought enough chompers do I now well we've seen this dream a couple times before a good memory, except for all this shit. I know. Do we fight or do we just cr crawl and run? I've succeeded at that one. This is also not the most convenient time to have this problem. Did I get anything for that? I thought there used to be a reward for that. So that thing doesn't let stuff pass though, right? That's its one virtue. Well, I can't repair anything right now. So... You are my best friend right now. I think all I can do is maybe reside in this room for a while. Let's go turn this on. Yeah, it's gonna eat up a little bit of extra stuff. 
stuff, but there are worse fates. I know that this is kind of bad in that I'm boxing myself in, but what? That. Just the eyeball doing its eyeball things. Stop! Why? Just want to shove you. I'm not asking for much here. There we go. I want you over there. No. Why? supposed to be in that room, but close. What am I close to? Oh. What does this say? Simple siblings of a madman. 12th September 1984. We found signs of Found new sign 17 kilometers west of hideout 33 points 12 circles. Total pattern lay 34. Six unidentified patterns. Simple siblings of a madman. Siblings? Siblings? So wait, uh, now what does it say? My map updated? No. I really hope the trader's back because I'm gonna just buy so much wood from him. Is there lights? more than most things. Okay. It's not touching that though. How nice of it. Hi. You're pleasant. Don't I have the, uh, I haven't used any of these. Probably use this one more often. Or and that one. I hope this is an uneventful night, honestly, because I just want to get through it. I could die, actually, I'd probably be fine. How did I miss that container? Was it under the chair, maybe? You know? I'm okay with this. services once more. I 
I'm gonna appreciate this ex- What? What? How does that thing work again? It used to spawn asleep. Alright. Well, at least we made it to the morning. I wasn't expecting to survive, exactly. Well, there's my stuff, at least. My, you know, apparently dysfunctional, but yet functional radio. Oh, it is you guys! Great! So I don't have any rep with you. It's gonna be in silent as if waiting for my move. I can only hear heavy breathing of the tallest figure holding a giant bag. As the tallest figure opens the bag, the room is filled with an intense smell of mushrooms. Apparently, they wish to give me something. Here also is like that other place just to. Whoa! Body of a man wearing a helmet. Has it been severed? Key to tunnel 21. Weird book. Mushrooms. Head. Someone scratch off the word liar on the helmet's view. with this is that there's no real 
privacy. Like it just it's just straight up open everywhere. Though I guess the highest priority thing is this. I think there's a fence on the other side as well, right? Or over here or something. Yeah. This will be a good this helps to keep stuff from coming in from over here. I'm always going to be vulnerable from up here, right? Which is why this sucks so much. But hey, maybe we can put a wardrobe there and it'll be okay. And then we need to lock up this door and that door. Maybe put a wardrobe here just to block the view. I feel like I should try it because I feel like I would have more options. Still don't know how to fight the centipede guys very well though, so that's going to be a liability. But here though, I feel like, you know, we can section off two of them and then we actually have doorways everywhere. We actually can. We should also try holding up in that's a door we can close. This is something we can reasonably effectively barricade, right? Like you can actually put a wardrobe on the diagonal, but we still need a wardrobe down there. And then you've got that folded up. I guess that's kind of a liability, but not really. It's just falling to pieces. That's the problem. about them other than fight them, honestly. Do they just like fire or something? Is there something I can do? I might also just need better weapons. That's a pretty fat container. Hold on, let's go ahead and drop off. I have extra gas. There goes the extra gas. Let's use our shroom that we paid for. Honestly, go ahead and reload that. One bullet is not it's not worth the risk. So there goes that. And I can tuck away, tuck it away again. I don't want that. need so much of this. just want to upgrade the workshop. That is my only goal at this point. I can't use those bullets, so 
Shotgun shells and yeah, okay. Where shall we put them away? Where is it again? That's it. Put it over here? No. Right here? Yes. Wait, no. We don't have a weapons drop, do we? spend my, my nights. There's just no good options, I feel. Like everything sucks in its own particular way. What? I can make one of these? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. It's nice because I have access to the workbench during the night, which is, you know, good. I could basically barricade everything to leave that as my only way in. But then, you know, we will have to deal with centipede types. Which I think we just have to anyway. I think we're just broken in Alpha 8. For me specifically. It feels like a lot of people had to deal with them and I just got lucky. Try repairing. Try repairing. Like with nails. Do we have nails anywhere? We don't have any nails. Are we just, like, did we run, exactly run out of nails? How did that work out? Do you have nails? They do not have nails. Oh well. Most likely, I actually bought all of their nails. I'll go ahead and not use those just as a workshop upgrade, eventual workshop upgrade savings. Well, this makes more sense. And yes, maybe we should have molotov the, the fucker. That probably would have been a better idea. Okay. Hitting the tank will release the gas under high pressure. Oh, I can pick them up now. How nice. Gas tank. I guess I should set those up as traps. But, so here's the rub. If I'm gonna try to hole up over there, I need plenty of wood to do it successfully. Or is this at the very least, like, I don't know, there's still, there is an actual live wardrobe somewhere, right? Oh no, it got destroyed, okay. Because I could actually hold up in here safely if I can repair a wardrobe and drag it over here. They don't have anything else though. I don't have anything in here, but it has some fuel in it, right? Yeah, it does. Uh, I don't have enough to repair it, anything anymore, though. So we're kind of boned, but we can try anyway. We've still got the tree, the tree to go explore. So let's just go do that. I can only hope that we will actually get 
Is it foggy as well? That's good. I wouldn't want to make this too easy. of what's where. He's dead. Just straight up dead. Can't get through here right now. So it almost looks like I can. Just almost. Just, just ever so slightly can't actually. matches. Nothing in here, just ah, uh, it's so annoying. Key for everything. extends his hands, blindly trying to reach me. I'm surprised that you're alive. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All the lads are dead. It's only me. Me and... He finally finds his arm and grabs it. For a moment, he clutches my arm in silence. Then I hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Oh, this... This chair. Bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ain't no fucking tree, that. It looks like a tree with those faces. You know them, buggers. Every single one of them. So close and so fake. I know them, buggers, okay. They're not real, they're not. And from every time I think, God, I went blind, I don't have to look at them. Time to time, oh, so he's blind as well. The old man lets go of my hand to lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me, all this buggery. This fucking scum. All the time. I have to listen to this pathetic blabber, complaining all the time as if I was supposed to believe it's human. That's... that it's me, Zaka. Yeah, right. 
suddenly reaches toward me with both hands, almost falling out of the chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You, lad. You've got your hands and legs. Strong arms. I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination of wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace, fucking hell. And I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think, for fuck's sake. His eyes widen, his pupils are milky white. I can feel him clinging to my coat. You need to find the basement. Yasek's basement. Yasek? Yasek's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large. If you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them. Pull them. Drag them. Twist the fuck out of them. You'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. The man grabs the photograph, feels it, and takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road of madness is what that is. Years ago, when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, where that damn tree goes. They would often leave at night, so that no one could see them. They went into the deep, dark woods and never came back. Huh. I wonder why. Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world. But home, for me, has always been here. Then that monstrous moaning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place. Maybe they died at the swamps, just like us. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes, the man lowers his voice, sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. The sound of bare feet against the floor. Bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees, then come back. They pass me and fall silent. They're like a nightmare. A bloody nightmare! So hold on. The sound of bare feet against the floor and bells. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees, then come back. They pass me and fall silent. Bells. used to be different here. First the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. If you come across some wheels, two little wheels that I could fix my chair, maybe you would benefit from it as well. What are you going on about again? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? The war took my legs. Then those wankers burned my house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease, so they said, and my Zaka. The disease took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair. This land. <sighs> is he talking about... Are they chompers? Like, they just roll up and then go to the trees. But what does it mean by they come back? Little bells. That part I don't really know what that's about. I'll get to the tree. I need to make sure I can get out of here. Dig up the rubble if I have half a shovel. Sure. Destroyed painting. This is my kind of... Holy Mary and baby Jesus, except fungus has destroyed the faces. Why just the faces? So weird. Oh, dark wood. So weird sometimes. Okay, so I guess this is my... Where? Where? 
notebook, almost almost completely full of notes. An inventory was drawn up every day. The notes suddenly ended September 1986. So it's 87 now, right? So it hasn't been that long. 0820. Six potatoes. 1983, 021. Jazik is dead. We're down to 26. Six potatoes. Half a loaf of bread. Two liters of gasoline. Plus one potato. Jazik's. Good. Good old Jazik. Yo. Jazik. 822. None. 823. Minus five potatoes. Plus one dog. 824 minus 3 potatoes. 824 minus 4 potatoes. Wait, right, so there were 7 potatoes. Wait, what? Oh, so not, so wait, what? Oh! Okay, so I don't know how many potatoes there were originally. They're just consuming potatoes. Minus 4 potatoes, minus 3 potatoes. Okay, well. That sucks. The basement's blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. Anything else in here that I should be aware of? It just doesn't enter. Okay. Jeez, door. Be less dramatic about it, you know. You'd be okay with that. screen. I don't see you as often as I might think. Alright. Lantern time. Yeah, we know this crap already. All along the basin is something made by the growing roots. Okay, we can't even get there though. Flooded, eh? Am I right? Dogs, bollocks, everything is fucking flooded. He turns around as if looking for something. Eh? What? Ah, yes. Yes. Elephants, fucking plonkers. Ever seen elephants, matey? Yeah, we have these elephants here, you see. They live here in the eastern part of the swamp. Their hut is thin to thicket in the flooded forest. Since the woods trapped us here, they keep to themselves. They don't fancy us, bloody elephants. They have these oxygen tanks. Lots of them tanks. And if the basement is flooded, you could use an oxygen tank, eh? 
All sorts of things used to happen in our village. Sometimes a mug got punched for some silly thing. A faint smile appears on the man's face. But we always stick together when time came. We had to. I sometimes we hear the echoes of those times. And the trees moans. That fucking monstrosity won't let me forget. Hey. <sighs> Lots to explore. We're almost certainly involved attacking tangling with that thing. Which, you know. I'm weaving the lantern or for some other reason. Yeah, okay. Well, empty 
well. I heard that. Somewhere. Oh, there you are. Did I get black shit on it again? Lantern pills. It's also a time we should have got going again. Thief. So I'm guessing this guy, you know, stole some, uh, I don't know, some uh, potatoes or something. And then his hope was eaten by a. Uh, are there any codes though? Like that looks like a number, right? Oh well, it's too dark. Let's head home. Do our upgrade before we run out of time. Might be a nice jump change of pace from horrible misery to some kind of progress. And then, though I'm not too sure we'll actually make any kind of progress, because I think we still haven't dealt with the core issue of I'm lost and I don't know how to get out of here. I thought it was. There it is, okay. We're not too far out, though, so I'm not super worried. We've got fences now, so that probably will make a mild difference. Yeah, excellent. Now, how do I make this? Uh, I don't have any of the requisite supplies, but I will wait for it anyway. Then top to your items, right? I need four. You can have four. I need more wood. Oh, I should go cook before it gets too late. Yes, yes. Also take this time to look at our inventory in a time-free space. Ah, we can put that away. We can make some wood with that. And we could recover some nails. Okay, so what is it? It's all here, right? Yeah, well, do I need gas at night? I don't think so. 
Right, so what was the plan again? We should probably hold up in here for one more night. Honestly, I'm not really sure how to. 16 planks. Oop, I should go turn on the generator first. What am I supposed to do here? What am I? Oh god, it's just full of juice. Okay. Yeah, why not? Low on gas too, because fuck me.
test if there was something out there, if the red light does anything. Ah. Just so I don't have to worry about that ever again. I guess you get so much rep because you're expected to use it. Ammo and stuff. Right, three days. Not enough. Don't want to worry about this. Like a slightly generous. You're a better candidate for this. Except you tried to stack. Ah. Well, that was probably the most confrontational I'd have succeeded that. I pat myself on the back for that. Which, you know. Sorry, did it, did it get absorbed? Okay, sure. Hey, buddies. Take that. And. Uh. Almost using up all of my, uh, crap here. Some matches. Should I, I'm not gonna take matches. I'm gonna give you the batteries. I have the batteries. Something else that I really care. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Ah, so if we want to stay in here, we'll have to deal with this garbage somehow. destroy everything now. Okay. So I think my strategy doesn't work anymore. That's what's happening here. My strategy has always been damn it. My strategy has always been fortify and wait. Like it is an emergency. Something has gone wrong if I need to resort actually attacking something. That's clearly not working, right? Like, I fixed this up last night. And they're already torn down. There's bug juice all over the floor, everywhere. So I need a better strategy. But I, frankly, am not totally sure what that strategy would be. I'm just so used to plague that way. So I need to figure out. Oh, wow. So what are the threats here? The spiders, huge dogs. The the what are the which one call it? Banshees. And the other guys, the guys from tunnel. I don't know that I can do anything about the guys from tunnel, other than just trying to be able to like, get outside and fight them, maybe? But Banshees... I don't know. Uh, their, their little babies do less damage than I thought they did. Although, they didn't really respond to my scary noise quite as much as I had hoped they would. So that sort of leaves... Question store. Oh, here it is. Okay, interesting. Thought I didn't want it anymore, I guess. Here. You can 
have it. One drop. Ah, but what to do? What to do, right? Like, there's no real long corridors that I can use to my advantage. Just like lace with traps or something. Highly flammable substance. So if I burn it, it explodes. Also, I'm tempted to use it to get rid of this shit, but I know that's really inefficient. <laughs> so my doors are all okay. Well, but where where to hold up? Like this seems to be where the game wants me to hold up, right? Let's just do that. Let's try that for a night. I mean, I did it before, and it went okay. The only current problem is, well, first of all, the... All the usual ones, right? Like, I still have to... carve out a space. So, repair this thing. Oh my god, they're expensive to repair. But the idea with this thing, at least, is. Definitely the kind of thing where I can just like, yes, we'll just do that. Then I want one more wardrobe. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff. It's dissolving me, I guess. Who knows? Where'd it go? enough or what? Really? Why is that a thing that can happen? That, like I can... There. Why? Why? What happens if I die during the time stop? Do I care? Seriously? Rain? Is the rain washing it away, or am I just missing it every time? I feel like it's right there. There we go. Huh. Chair by. We'll get more healing items too. Uh, one of these. Remorse. That's the one I really need. 
build this guy. And then I'm done. Oh good. I can't block anything with it either. Fantastic. Can't block any views at least. Well, you're coming with me anyway. It is worth remembering that the stuff can just destroy these again. But we'll see. You know, maybe just, they just won't. They will frequently. The goal would be. What am I doing inventory wise? This guy. We can. Metals, no wood. I'm out of. I'm out of nighttime materials. That's not good at all. I'm gonna switch to this for a little bit, just to see. stuff, because that would, uh, that would allow me to have, well, all of it, at least the flares, I should equip the flares, basically, is what I mean. With the flares, you know, when a banshee comes in, you at least get the light going. gas now, which the, I would like more gas, well no, that's actually fine, because this is full up right now. So we're doing fine on gas for that, so that's something. You'll leave this place alone for now at least, but I do need to find a lot of wood, so that I can A, barricade those, have enough to barricade at night, needed. We'll repair you one day. Don't you worry. Right, there's no wood. I was like, something's missing here, but I'm not sure it right. No wood. Um... Space and so little to explore. I'm sure the journal has the cripple, destroy the tree, the cellar. So we'll 
have to be. We will get to make do in due time. I'll put away our one match. I guess I do have enough. I do have some. I should stash that away for the night. Honestly, the night is just more important than what I could be doing with it. Thing gets destroyed, and then it'll be sad for all of us. But hopefully, it won't come to that. At least not for a little while. And we lose one of our walls. Actually, it sucks pretty hard. There has to be. As time goes on, we can. Uh, no, that's what happened either, or something where I let it at a slightly different angle, and suddenly my whole plan is put. That's good enough. That'll be it for Darkwood for now. Um, I think I'm done with the talking tree for now, too. I don't think there's anything left. Oh, there's exploring to do. We could, we could go looting, basically, which I do need supplies. So that's certainly worth it. Although I do have a few more places to explore. Cottage and stuff. So there's plenty to do. Chapter 2 is always more exciting. Hope I can figure out a better nighttime strategy later on. Or I can just get this to start working again somehow. But anyway, that's going to be it. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.